What's happening, Shredder Nation? Happy Tuesday. Welcome to episode number 104 of Living the Shredder Life. I am super, super excited tonight because tonight I have Miss Former Junk Food Addict, Lizette Christopher, joining me on the call tonight. So, Lizette, welcome to Living the Shredder Life. I am so happy that you're here. Thank you so much. Thanks for inviting me. I appreciate it. Uh, absolutely. You know, you you came on our Wednesday call, uh, I think it was a couple weeks ago, and yeah. I was like, oh my God, I need to know more because some of the things, you know, Wednesday we get a little a little smidgen, um, you know, we can kind of hear a little bit of it, but then I was like, oh, no, 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 no. Like, I need to understand how junk food was like the, the center of your life, and then all of a sudden it's not. Yes. And I know that there's so many people out there that are struggling with chocolate addiction, junk food addiction, chips, candy, you yes. name it. And no matter what they've done over the years, they can't figure out how to break it. So I, I'm really, really excited for people to hear from you. Um, and, and I just want to say thank you before we even start, because I know that live video is not your favorite thing. And I know that it's not something you, you know, extend to do like I do all the time where your face is always on camera. Mm -hmm. So I am so appreciative of you. I, I can't even express that enough to you. So um, let's get going. Let's get going yeah. with this. Let's just <laughs> dive in. Um, you know what's cool is that is you are actually my very last call because I'm going to take a break now through the holidays to the new uh. year. So you are the last call before the break. Um, uh -huh. You know, Christmas break, the Hanukkah break, whatever it is that people are celebrating. You know, for New Year's and stuff like that. And then we're going to kind of give it a give it a spiel. So um, awesome. that's not any pressure on you at all. <laughs> Um, but I think it's pretty special. You know, I think it's pretty special that, that we get to do this together on a last call. So um, let's start off like this, if you don't mind. Um, just tell people who you are, where you're from, uh, and let's just start there. How's that? I'm Lizette Christopher. Um, I'm originally from New York City, Bronx and the Queen and Queens. Okay. Um, but I've been in Florida since 1991. So I'm a Floridian now. Um, you escaped the cold. Yes, I escaped the cold. <laughs> yes. So yeah. that's basically it. Yeah, very cool. And you're just, you're on the East Coast of Florida, which we determined before oh. the call. I didn't know, but you're from Stewart. You live in Stewart now. I live right? in Stewart, which, Florida, which is, which, is, which is south of Vero and north of West Palm Beach. Very it's cool. It's a little tiny <laughs> area. Yeah. In Florida. And, and I would imagine, you know, from, the, from, the, from your background, I see a ridiculous amount of fishing poles. I see oh. bikes with helmets, so I'm going to assume that those are your your loves in life, and what a better place to be in Florida that you can oh, enjoy yes. that year round. Yes. Um, we went fishing today, and it, it, we're having a hard time catching fish. If we catch a catfish and we don't eat the catfish from the ocean, so um, yeah, hit or miss with the fishing, bicycle riding almost every weekend. Very cool. We do that, so it's Very fun. Cool. I, I love the outdoors. Yeah. So outdoors is your, is your, is your jam. Yeah. Yes. 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 Very cool. Walking, running, everything. I love okay. it. Okay. So you're just an outdoor junkie all around. Hey, beach bum. <laughs> beach bum. I mean, you're in Florida. You go, you better be a beach bum, right? Yes. It would be silly if you weren't a beach bum. Um, <laughs> very cool. So Lizette, take us back a little bit, if you don't mind. Um, you know, I, obviously we know the end result here where you're, you know, crushing life, you're smashing your goals. Um, I just saw a post on Facebook the other day where you were like, oh my God, I can't believe that there's all this junk food around me and I'm not even tempted. So that's the that's the sweet spot at the end of the rainbow. Yeah. But I know life wasn't always like that for you, right? So um, right. just give people a little brief history. Like, you know, what was it like growing up? Um, you know, for me, I know I, I was a fat kid growing up. I mean, I struggled. I was made fun of my entire life. It was a big thing. It's kind of what got me into fitness. Um, what, what was it like for you? For me, um, I was always eating junk food. Always. Mm. I was always into chocolate, candies chips, popcorn, movie theater popcorn. Um, I've, I've always done that, but I've always been a size 10 eating it. 
And when I turned 50, I noticed something is different here. I'm gaining mm. weight. I was getting the muffin top. Um, and I was continuing, continually eating the junk food. And when I say junk food, I'm talking about the movie theater popcorn. I would just walk into the movie theater and get myself a large popcorn, put till I'm loaded with butter in the middle, loaded with butter on the top. I bring my plastic bag with me. They put it in there and I walk out the door and I eat it in the car Oh, in like an hour. And um, other junk food would be uh, chocolate, the big yeah. Russell Stover chocolate box with the nuts in it. I would sometimes go to Walgreens and get buy one, get one free, buy one, get one half. I would eat that. I would Ooh. buy some chips, the Lay's, buy one, get one free. Yeah. I would eat that in the car. I mean, mm. it was for like two hours, I'm just gorging on this mm. stuff and mentally fighting myself, mentally yeah. fighting myself. Yeah. What are you doing while I'm eating? What are you doing? You know, this is yeah. not good. This is empty, ca empty calories that you're eating. Yeah. And it was just, it was frustrating, so frustrating for me because I wasn't losing weight. I was gaining weight. I was getting inflammation um, mm. all over my body. And I said, it has to be because of, um, I'm over 50 now Yeah. that I'm not able to lose this weight because mm. I was doing this before I turned 50 and I didn't have a problem. So I tried other programs and they didn't help me at all. I've, mm -hmm. I've given them a try. And even one said that you will stop overeating. You will stop the sugar eating. It didn't help at all. Yeah. Um, I even kept a log of what I would buy as far as junk food, just to see how much money I'm spending on junk food. It was ridiculous, the money that I was spending. What did you, what did you and come I'm to realize? Myself. Hmm? How, how much, how much was it? One day would be $10, the next day $15. The popcorn alone was $8 at the movie theater. Wow. You know, but I wouldn't get popcorn every day. I would get the yeah. other stuff every day. Yeah, yeah. So when you when you were logging, you realized that I mean you were spending gosh one hundred and twenty five to two hundred dollars a week on just junk food. Yes, yes, just junk, just food. junk food, just junk food. Wow. But I would eat healthy. When I say healthy, I'm talking about salads that would put knots in my stomach. I mean, I eat a mm. salad and my stomach would be in such such knots. Yeah. Um, lots of vegetables, uh, fruits. You know, when I say healthy, <laughs> that's yeah. what I eat. But yeah. then I would go on and eat. I would crave the junk and I would get it. I mean, it's, I'm just fighting myself. I would get it. Interesting. So. Interesting. Now that's, that's obviously up until the shred as you got older. What, what was it like growing up? Was, was food a big center of your family? Was there a connection to food or how have you ever kind of thought back to like, well, how did I even get to that place in, in the first place? As far as the junk food, I don't know. I think it was just me. It wasn't my family. I think it okay. was just my, we're Puerto Rican. So um, we eat rice and beans, but I rarely eat rice and beans. Okay. Um, so we had a lot of rice and beans in the family, which mm. I ate, but every now and then maybe holidays. Um, yeah. But as far as the junk food, I think that was just me. It was just me. Something, I don't know. I just, I love chocolate. <laughs> I love chocolate. Yeah. I love popcorn. I was always going to the movie theater in New York yeah. and yeah. I was going to the movie theater here. I rarely go to the movies, but I rarely go to the movies to see a movie, but I went to the movies to buy the popcorn. Oh, um, wait a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. Hold on. You didn't even go to watch a movie. You literally just went into the theater to buy the popcorn. You put it in your bag and you took it out. Yes. I went to the movie theater. I walked in, bought popcorn and walked out with the popcorn. I did not see a movie. Oh, wow. <laughs> Okay. That's how bad it was. Wow. So you I were, rarely you know, see movies it, now these days. So. Yeah. I mean, listen, they don't make it easy on us, right? Like it's like what no. you said, it's like buy one, get one free. Like, do you ever see a buy one, get one free on vegetables? No. <laughs> no. You ever see a buy one, get one free on grass fed <laughs> steak? No. no. It's always on like this massive ultra processed, super artificial flavor junk food, right? Like yes, that, that's yes. what they're doing to us. And it's like, you know, when, mm -hmm. when you, when you, now, when you have this clarity and you kind of think back, can you, can you like, like 
how cheap is that stuff really for yeah. them to be able to do a buy one, get one free, know that they're still making profit, mm -hmm. right? Because obviously yeah. these are multi-billion dollar companies. I mean, we're talking, yeah. you know, Nabisco, you know, we're talking Lay's, mm -hmm. we're talking General Mills, we're, you know, I mean, there's only nine, most people don't realize is that there's actually only nine, I think there's seven or nine food companies that actually control the entire food industry. Um, it's really bizarre and it's so crazy to see like every time there's a new like fad that they see people going towards these companies open up another shell company and mm -hmm. then they market to whatever that fad is right whether yeah. it's low fat low sugar low whatever um, you know they just keep spinning the wheels spinning the wheels and, yeah, and yeah. they know um they know how to market to us you know what I mean and, and they, mm -hmm. they know you know it's kind of like um I kind of look at it like it's like social media. You know what I mean? Like people don't realize like there's a reason that people are addicted to social media mm -hmm. and it's not necessarily your fault. They are the highest paid engineers in the world and their job is to keep mm -hmm. you addicted. Their job is to keep yes. you coming in, um, you know, and it's just bizarre. And the food companies do the same thing. They hire and they pay really big amounts of money to food scientists mm -hmm. and they you know people don't realize this but they even do like test groups right where they yes. come in and they have a product launch and they put you know certain amounts of sugar in different different foods so it's like 30 percent 40 percent 10 i'm just making up numbers right now mm -hmm. but this is what they do and then people say oh that's too sweet oh that's too this oh that's just right and that's going to keep you coming back yeah knowing damn well that that re you know lights up your brain the dopamine and mm -hmm. people want to feel it makes you feel good so yes. it's like you know like you said like you were battling you knew it wasn't good for you but yet you couldn't say no right yes, like, yes yes even eating salads even eating all your vegetables even doing what you thought was healthy mm -hmm. um, because that's what you were told to do you know um mm -hmm. did you struggle with weight your whole life or, or did this kind of come about like later on no when i turned 50 um i'm going on 54 so when i turned 50 is when i noticed a change i said yeah. something is off here yeah why am i my pants are fitting tight now yeah. you know Hello, man. And I'm doing the same thing. I'm eating the same junk food, but yeah. <laughs> my pants are tight. Yeah. yeah. And let me tell you, when I when I did go to the movie theater to watch a movie, I always got the large. So with the large, you get a free refill. Mm -hmm. So I would be done with that first one before the movie starts, because I always get to the movie theater early to watch a movie. Okay. At least 30 minutes. Yeah. I finish it. I go straight to the counter and I will buy, not, not buy, but I would get a refill. Yeah. Same thing. More butter, more butter. Yeah. It was crazy the wow. way I was eating. Wow. Really crazy. <laughs> so besides, besides the fact that your clothes started getting tighter and you said the muffin top started yeah. showing, was there any other... Um, health ailments that that kind of started showing themselves. I mean, were you struggling sleeping? Did you have? I mean, was there any stuff going on with your thinking? Did you notice any anything like that at all? Now that you kind of think back, the sleeping. I was having a hard time staying asleep before. I used to sleep no problem, no problem, eight hours. Yeah. But then later on, I noticed that I could sleep two or three hours. I said, "This is not. I can't do this. I need to yeah. get my eight hours of sleep." Yeah. But now it's totally different. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, yeah, I'm so happy to hear about mm -hmm. that. That's for sure. Yes. That's yes. for sure. So so growing up was just a typical modern, you know, normal family, right? Obviously, yeah. rice, beans, chicken, all that kind of good stuff. Mm -hmm. It wasn't really the junk food thing. No. Um, it's crazy to kind of kind of look back, you know what I mean? Like most people kind of don't take a second and, and really kind of think back like, man, how did I even get to that place, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and sometimes it happens through life situations. Sometimes it happens through trauma that happens to us. And, and all of a sudden we find ourselves looking for this outlet. Um, and for you, I mean, it sounds like that outlet, you know, was, was junk food, you know, mm -hmm. it, it, 
It hit your reward center of the brain. It made you feel really good, even though you knew it was bad for you. Um, I know without a doubt, Lizette, that there are millions of people in the mm -hmm. world right now yeah. that do the same exact thing. I mean, they're I, really, like there has to be. <laughs> there has to be. Like there has I mean, to listen, be. I've I've been coaching for way too many years. And when I when I break it down for people, most people realize they're like, look, I know what I'm doing is not healthy for me. You know, I know carrying this extra weight is not healthy. Mm -hmm. I, I believe that there is not one person on the face of this planet that wakes up and goes, oh, my God, I'm so excited that I'm overweight. Oh, my God, I'm so excited that I feel like crap yeah, every day. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, this whole marketing thing with this body image stuff, like, I just can't get behind it because it's like, look, like, I get it. Like, let's be comfortable in our skin. Let's be comfortable with who we are and let's have some self-love. But my goodness, I mean, if you look at the statistics mm. and you look at what the disease that obesity brings on. You know, you look at the heart disease, the autoimmune disease, the cardiopulmonary disease. I mean, it is just rampant out of control. Do you know by 2030, it is estimated that over 50% of adults are actually going to be categorized as overweight? Not obese, but overweight. And out of the 50%, there's like 25% that are actually in the obese category. You know, and it's like, it's mm -hmm. just mind blowing. And, and the health consequences that that puts on our body, um, it, it just frustrates me. You know, it frustrates me because I know people don't want to be like that. And that's why I'm so thankful that we have this solution that actually works, you know? Um, so speaking of that, you mentioned that you tried other things. What are some of the other diets that that you tried uh, in the past before ER Shred kind of fell into your lap? Um, I have, I've tried Weight Watchers. Okay. I succeeded before, but then when I started after 50, it's a lot of sugar, mm -hmm. <laughs> a lot of sugary products. Sure is. I mean, I used to buy the snacks and they had so much sugar. I was addicted yeah. to sugar. Yeah. Um, Golo, G-O-L-O. Okay. They're tablets that you take. Um, you have to have breakfast, lunch, dinner, take a tablet each time. Okay. It's supposed to stop your cravings. Not for me. Not for you. Not for me. I'll eat the healthy foods, eat the go low pill, and I go for my junk food. Interesting. Interesting. A lot of other ones. I can't remember the names. Yeah. And, and I mean, did you, was it typical? I know a lot of people when they, you know, a lot of people share with me, they're like, Jesse, I've tried all these other diets. Um, did you have, you, you said you had some success, right? But obviously like, did, was it, was it normal? Like where you had the success and then like, maybe it was like three, four, five weeks. And then you got to a point where like, it just wasn't sustainable anymore. Or then you started to put it back on. Or what do you think um, was like some of the major flaws in, in those things? I don't know. I just, the only thing I could think of is when I turned 50, just things ch changed for me. Yeah. Things changed, you know, the menopause, yeah. things changed for me. Yeah. So that's what I'm thinking because I did have success um, yeah. with, um, I did have success with Weight Watchers. I did lose 19 pounds back when I was in my 40s. Yeah. Um, Golo, I didn't have success at all. It didn't yeah. help me. This is, this is, I'm talking about after 50. Yeah. Um, I didn't have success with it. Yeah. Now, when you say um, success, you know, for me, success in, 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 in the health field or in the, I hate using the word diet, but in the diet world, in the nutrition space, whatever we want to label it as success for me is long-term lifestyle. And it doesn't sound like any of those things gave you those, those kind of tracks to run on where it's that long-term lifestyle. So you say you had minimal success, but you seem to always have come back to where like pre-starting you know what i mean like you would you would have success but then you put it back on yes okay yes. i put it back on mm -hmm. so yeah. i guess that really is that technically success then no <laughs> right not really right no no and i know there's so many people like if you're listening to this like do me a favor drop into the comments like if you can relate to this 
please sh don't be shy. Share into the comments. Yeah. Let us know what diets did you try? What, you know, <clears throat> are you experiencing anything that Lizette is talking about? Because yeah. if you're honest with yourself, if you're honest with yourself, I know for a fact that you're probably on this yo-yo roller coaster, just like Lizette was. Um, you were dying to get healthy, obviously, or else you yes. wouldn't have engaged in these programs in the first place. If you if you didn't want to get healthy, you wouldn't have signed up for Weight Watchers. You wouldn't have signed up for Golo. You wouldn't have signed mm -hmm. up for you know all the other things and spent this money. Um, and I know there's a lot of people that can relate to that for sure. Um, yes. Crazy. Absolutely. Another crazy. one that you I did, like, which is not really, you know, eating, but I, I've always, I was always able to lose weight. Intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting is awesome. 100%. But I noticed again, once I turned 50 is totally different for me because yeah. I would do a seven day fast and I'm still at the beginning. I said, what in the world? Why? Yeah. Why am I losing inches and, and, and fat, you know? Yeah. The, the scale is not going down. So I said, something's not right. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know. Well, listen, I'll tell you what. I, I commend you so much for not giving up. Um, most people, when they get to 40 or they get to 50, um, and, and they've, they've done the path that you've done, where they've tried the diets, they've tried the programs, most people throw up their hands and they say, you know what? Maybe the doctor's right. Maybe it's just yes. because I'm 50. I'm going to, maybe it's because of menopause. Maybe it's because, you know, this is just the way that life is supposed to be is what they tell me. This is just what it's supposed to be. Like you're supposed to go downhill. Right. And, and I think that that's the farthest from the truth. Oh yeah. Farthest from the truth. I mean, I don't know if you got a chance to watch the show where I did with um, Jennifer and James Birch. Uh, where, you know, from Australia, where, you know, I mean, he's 70 years old, she's in her late 60s, and they are just thriving, you know, yes. and, and they did the same thing. They were, you know, vegetarian, they were vegan, you know, mm -hmm. I think vegetarian for, you know, three years before <clears throat> ER Shred came into your life, which is mind blowing. But, you know, James has signed up for a, a physique competition now at 70 years old. Wow, that's awesome. I mean, when you look at them, you would never guess that that mm -hmm. was their age. Like, they blew my mind when they told me that. And I have seen so many people in their later years of life that took care of themselves that are still thriving, you know? Yes, um, yes. And it's never too late. You know, their motto is it's never too late. Um, mm -hmm. to get going. And I love that motto. I mean, as you, I don't know if you know, but I, you know, I, my sport of choice these days is ultra marathon running. And one of the things that blows my mind, Lizette, is I see at every single race that I do, I see people in their sixties and even seventies mm -hmm. running these races. I'm talking 50 miles, wow. 70 miles, 88 K mm -hmm. hundred milers. Um, I know people that are in their sixties and seventies that have done 200 mile races. And I, it's just, it's mind blowing to yes. realize just how awesome our bodies are, but it's mm -hmm. also so sad to know that so many people just give up. Give up. So many people just give, give up. up. Um, I've just, always, Jesse, I've always been, I've always said, I'm not going to buy no size 12 clothes. <laughs> I've always been a size 10. I will, I will always be buying size 10 clothes. So oh, wow. I just fit into them. If, if I have to put a bigger shirt on for, for a little bit, but I'm still wearing those size 10 pants, you know, yeah, um, yeah. size 10 and medium size 10 medium. I'm not going higher. Yeah, I, I like You're that. Like, that's size. That's so I never gave up. I always said, I'm, I don't know how, but I'm going to lose this weight, whether eating junk food or not, I'm going to lose this weight. Yeah, that's the way and I mean, I, I obviously, you love the outdoors. So it's not because you weren't exercising. Mm -hmm. It's not because you weren't, you know, outside and getting nature. It's not because you weren't breathing fresh air. It's not like you were a person that just sat on your tush. You know, it's just that you had this addiction, you know, and you're yes. right, Lizette, you know, when, when we do hit a certain age, um, obviously for women, you know, it's inevitable, it's mm -hmm. inevitable. So any of you younger women out there, I'm going to tell you something, you cannot escape menopause. It is, you yes. cannot escape menopause. No. It is inevitable that it is going to happen. 
Um, mm -hmm. And you don't have to suffer. You don't have to suffer. You don't have to be in pain. You mm -hmm. don't have to gain massive amounts of weight. Um, yeah. You just don't have to do that. You know, um, they're lying to you. They're lying to you. If you believe that I'm mm -hmm. telling you that they're freaking lying to you because yeah. I have seen so many thousands of people that have broken that myth. Um, and, and I mean, you know, I'm a science geek, right? So it's like when I, when I look at the science and I learn from these amazing female doctors that specialize in this stuff, it's like, it's mind blowing to me, the simple things that we can do um, to really just kind of slingshot and give our body that, you know, that extra that it needs. I mean, something as simple as making sure you get enough protein every day. Um, that is like so crucial, you know, um, for older, but it's really crucial for everybody because it's the building blocks of life, you know? So now we partner with an amazing company called Isogenics. Um, for you, how long were you, how long have you been with Isogenics? I'm guessing 10 years. I don't know the exact, wow. I think it's 10 years as a customer. Okay. So wait a minute. So, so from 40 to 50, I'm guessing so from, um, I'm thinking 2014. I'm not sure. 20, wow. I think okay. it was 2014. So we're talking like eight to 10 years. So, so mm -hmm. while, you know, you had access to, in my opinion, what is the, some of the cleanest, most scientific backed, um, you know, supplements that we could possibly get our hands on, right? You know, yes, yes. macronutrient meal shakes and bone broth and, and some of the best multivitamins that I've seen. And yet, even with that, you still find yourself running to junk food. You still find yourself struggling. Well, I stopped using it for a while. Okay. And I just started purchasing the products again in August. Ah, okay. In August. Of so this how year. long did you use it for when you first started? Uh, probably eight years. Okay. And probably did you find, years. like, did you still have these struggles? Did it help a little bit? Like, what was that journey like? I always ate junk food, but I didn't have a problem because I, I didn't have the inflammation. There was no inflammation. Interesting. I was, I felt great. I, you know, my pants fit great. So I didn't have, I didn't think it was a problem. I yeah. could still eat my junk food. You know, yeah, I yeah. thought once you turn 30, that's when you're going to start gaining inflammation and mm. gaining weight. Mm. So I was just enjoying myself eating my junk food. Yeah. And then when 50 hit along, you know, I wasn't taking it when I was 50. I wasn't yeah. um, taking the shakes. Yeah. But um, yeah. So. Well, you know, what's crazy. I just, 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 just for the record, um, children today suffer with massive inflammation. Mm. Children suffer with massive inflammation. Um, I forgot the exact statistics, so I'm not going to throw the number out there because I, I like to try to be specific yeah. with things and I, 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 my brain can't think right now. Um, but the, the obesity rate in children is, it makes me sadder than adults. Um, it makes me so sad because I grew up an overweight kid. Um, I was made fun of for majority of my childhood and it caused really bad mental issues for me. I mean, I did not love myself. I hated myself. I, you know, I look, I think back and I'm like, man, did I even really ever have friends because those friends would always make fun of me. Um, yeah. at the time, my sister even, you know, and not because it was like, I don't know if they were doing it on, they don't, they weren't doing it on purpose. Um, mm -hmm. but back when I was a kid, I mean, I'm 43. So when I was a kid, which isn't that long ago, um, there wasn't like a ridiculous amount of obese children. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. there was some, um, and I wasn't like, obese but i was definitely heavier than the average kid so i i remember those times of getting made fun of and stuff and it just did some really really bad damage to mm -hmm. me um but yeah it's not when you're 30 that inflammation sets in it's like if you're eating junk food if you're popping seed oils if you're putting in artificial ingredients that is literally the root cause of the inflammation you know mm -hmm. That stuff triggers inflammation inside of our body. And then obviously, as we start to gain weight, um, you know, the excess fat in our body, um, it's like it literally triggers our immune system. And then our immune system thinks that we're, you know, it needs to protect us all the time. Like it's doing its job, right? Mm -hmm. And that 
constant being on with all the hormones and the blood sugar levels elevating, that's kind of the causes of inflammation, you know, okay. then we add in stress and the day of life and everything yeah. else. And mm-hmm. it just kind of bombards us. But, you know, you are right. Like as we age, right, we grow and then we start to decline, right? That's just mm-hmm. inevitable. It's the way that yeah. life is. Like you can't do anything about that. And when you hit 50, you know, you start to, to feel the effects of what's called sacropenia, which is actually a loss of muscle. So every year, if you're not active, if you're not being healthy, you will actually gain fat and lose muscle. And, and that is not a good place to be. I mean, it is literally going to rust the body from the inside out. Um, mm-hmm. And it's, it's just not a good place to be. So, all right. So you're using isogenics. You have, uh, you're, you're still eating your junk food. You are able to balance your weight. You stop using the products that isogenics offers. Mm-hmm. And then August rolls around. And tell me what, what, what happens in August. So you're 50 years old. You realize that something's got to change because no mm-hmm. longer can you eat your junk food and still maintain that, that magical size that you wanted, right? Yes. Um, and what happens in August now? August this year, okay, so I'm 53. So August this year, I, I said, I have got to try isogenics again. I have got to try it. So, but I was going to get the 30-day program thing. Yeah, 30-day system. Yep. But I went on to the isobody and typed, you know, message, private message some people saying, do you know anything? I... I'm a binge eater. That's what I said. I'm a binge eater and I'm trying to recover from this. Yeah. Do you know anything? And a couple of people told me you need more protein. So I said, okay. But then this one person said, you have to try ER shred. And I said, uh, why is, why is it? I said to myself, I'm saying, why is the isobody person telling me to join another company? Yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. So she said, you have to, because um, some people have success. And I said, okay, I right me immediately. I went on there and I saw, um, Sean and Crystal Escobar. And I said, yeah. I know them from my Yeah. <laughs> so I said, okay, so th- they're affiliated. Yeah. But, um, so you thought ER was Shred was a totally separate thing, totally different company. I had no <laughs> idea that it was part of, I said, you know, part yeah, yeah. Of, affiliated a little bit. Yeah. Um, so I, I immediately went through the guides. I went through the videos. It took me about two days to go through all of it. I mean, I was dedicated but there's a lot. There's a lot. There's a lot. But I, yeah. I was dedicated. But I was still eating junk food. I mean, I was still eating junk food like crazy. And I said, okay, I gotta get this. I gotta get. I'm asking questions, making sure I get the right products. And I said, I want to try this. I want to see if this is gonna help because I see people have no cravings. They're saying I have no cravings. Yeah. So I said maybe this will work for me. But from August, I don't know what the day to October. 25th October 25th is when I started from okay. my, from August because I was rampant on eating junk food I just couldn't stop yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so even though you saw the success even though you saw the people hitting the goals that you yes. wanted it still took you from August to October yes to actually finally commit mindset, mindset. it's the mindset I'm telling you I just I just said I'm not ready yet I'm not ready yet yeah you know, yeah. I was, I would, you know, I said, I'm not going to buy isogenics products or any um, quality foods and then put junk in my body. That's yeah. what I was thinking. I have to, you know, try to get this into it. So I just put a date. I said, okay, October 25th, I'm going to start. I'm going to see if this is going to help me for, mm-hmm. you know, a couple of days. Mm-hmm. So October 24th, I ate like crazy. I mean, junk food. <laughs> It was horrible. Last, last hurrah. Yes, it was horrible. Yeah. But then the next day, October 25th, I started. I was good. I said, okay, I love the foods. Yeah. I love eating this help, you know, the, the meats. Yeah. I love bacon, yeah. eggs, yeah. Um, steak, you know, yeah. things like that. And the next day, I said, I have no cravings. The next wow. day. Wow. Because I was eating. I hate, I, I think I had sh- uh, bacon, steak, shrimp, eggs, all in one meal, all that protein in one meal. Yeah. And two isogenics 
incubated shakes, which I never had incubated shakes before mm -hmm. through isogenics. Mm -hmm. So I had that and the meal and I was just continually eating till I got full. And the next day, no cravings whatsoever. No wow. cravings. I said, what in the world is going on here? Yeah. You know? So when you say no cravings, are you like, are you telling me that you literally like, you went from like massive amounts of junk food to like nothing? Nothing. I have wow. not had junk food since October 24th. Not one thing. <laughs> nothing. Nothing. And you have no desire, no cravings, no nothing. No desire, no cravings. I walk by the food because when I go to the supermarket, I have to walk by the foods, the junk. I just walk right by it. It doesn't wow. phase me at all. Wow. When I'm checking out, you know, they have the candy right there. Yeah, oh yeah. It doesn't phase me at all. I have no cravings whatsoever. <laughs> Would you always buy something beforehand? Buy something? Would you always buy something beforehand? Like, would you pick up a candy bar? Would you pick up stuff beforehand? Oh, yes. Yeah, every time. Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. it's, it's put there for a reason. It's put uh -huh. there for a reason uh -huh. when you're checking out. Oh, yes. I can't tell you how many people I see when I'm waiting at the grocery store where it's like, they're just waiting in line and it's like these colorful packages. And then you see the red signs where they're buy mm -hmm. one, get one yes. free, buy one, get one free M&Ms, buy mm -hmm. one, get one free Reese's, buy one, get one free Snickers. And I'm like, oh my God. And I see oh, people yes. every single time, reach, 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 reach. It's like, it's just getting you. It's just getting you, you know? It's that, just was so me. that was yeah. me. That was me. Not anymore. I have I not mean, touched junk food since October 24th. <laughs> I'm no longer a binge eater. That is so amazing. I'm so happy. You just that don't is so know. Amazing. <laughs> that is so amazing. So I, I'm blown away. I can't believe that one day, one day, one day of doing ER Shred, and all of a sudden you went from this massive junk food junkie yes. to you don't even feel like you want it anymore. No, I don't want it. That's crazy. I don't want it. And I read the ingredients of things, you know, other foods. Yeah, I read it. I said, no, that that is not good for me. Yeah, yeah. No. What is your definition of healthy food now? Right now, I just love the protein, the meats, you know, the seafood, eggs. That's that's healthy to me. Yeah. Um, I've tried avocado on maintenance because I'm on maintenance. Yeah. I find it healthy. I, I try to get the organic yeah. one. Yeah. Um. Peppers. We have homegrown peppers. We have homegrown cilantro. Mm. So we use that. On, you know, I put that on the side. Yeah. Um, that's what I say is healthy now. The, the incubated shakes. Oh, those are just, I love it. The Isoline yeah. Pro. Yeah. Um, the Isoline Pro uh, vanilla. No, I'm sorry. The uh, strawberry and the chocolate yeah. are my favorites. Yeah. And do you think that the incubated shakes were a big piece of that along with the, I mean, obviously they're loaded with 36 grams of undenatured whey protein. Um, so, yeah. I mean, you're getting the massive amounts of protein from the shakes. You're getting the massive amounts of protein mm -hmm. from the high quality meats, the seafoods that you're eating, um, the healthy fats, obviously, you know, that are filling you up. Yes. I say yeah. yes, because um, when, before I incubated them, I used to not incubate them. My stomach would be in knots, but I loved it so much. I love the flavor of the shakes. Yeah. And it's a meal replacement shake yeah. that I would just drink it, but my stomach would be in knots. Mm. And I could have that first thing in the morning and I would have, you know, knots in my stomach. Yeah. Now I don't get that. Yeah. When I, when I drank it the first time, I said, <laughs> what's going on? Yeah. I just kept, like I'm flabbergasted about it. Yeah. Were you, you expecting know? your stomach to, to be in knots? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's a I game was. changer for so many people. Oh, it really is. Yeah. It's unbelievable. I'm happy. I'm so happy. I found the solution. I'm so oh, happy. I'm so happy that you found the solution. <laughs> I, I'm so happy that you found this solution as well. I um, canceled and, and my, usually... I canceled my, um, I was going to go to, I made an appointment for a binge eating disorder place okay. and I canceled it. Like the third or fourth day after trying ER shred, I said, what? I don't even need to go to the... Yeah. I have no cravings. Yeah. And yeah. I say- it's Now tell me, tell me about that. What, what, what was that again? A binge eating what? 
disorder um, place, uh, like a counseling, counseling. Counseling. Binge eating disorder counseling. I, I was going to go start doing that. Yeah. I was going to go to a consultation and I canceled it because mm. the cravings were gone on the, on the second day. Unbelievable. So, Unbelievable. and I said to myself, I said, to me, to me, I could be wrong. I find, I thought it was a mental illness for me, but I don't feel that way. I feel that I was lacking nutrition. Mm. I was lacking the right nutrition. That's the mm. way I feel now, but that's my opinion. Yeah. <sighs> so I yeah. think if everyone tries ER Shred, the program, they can, you know, make their own opinion about it. But that's yeah. my opinion. Well, I mean, scientifically, you're absolutely right. Um, the human body doesn't actually crave anything. So from a nutritionist standpoint, when somebody goes, oh, I'm craving something, I'm like, you're lacking serious vitamins, minerals, yes. and trace minerals. You're lacking nutrients because uh -huh. if your body is satisfied and you're giving the human body what it needs to be fulfilled, it shouldn't be craving I don't even want to call that food because it's not food. Like fast food is not food. Candy yeah. is not food. It's, it's, it's artificial laboratory made garbage um, mm -hmm. that the human body is not really designed to function off of, you know, it's like if we fed a wild animal, you know, all of these seed oils and all of this stuff, it's like, you know, look at the dog, the dog population, right? Mo how many, how many dogs now are overweight? It's like 70 to 80%. And that blows my mind. Cause if you, if you really wow. think about this, it's like dogs are descendants of wolves, right? How many wolves do you see running around in nature overweight? <laughs> no, right? But yet, why are our dogs all overweight? Why are our dogs getting these big lymph nodes and these fatty tissue deposits? Yeah. It's the kibble. And if you look at the kibble, it's just as bad as the junk food that humans are eating, right? They're mm -hmm. putting in artificial ingredients. They're putting in dyes. They don't even use real ingredients, right? And if you do buy a dog food that's real ingredients, it's like $120 for a 40-pound bag. So it's like most people can't justify it. But it's like it's the same exact thing, you know? And mm -hmm. it's remarkable what happens when you give an animal – back to its natural state, right? When you give an animal back its natural food source, the animal is going to self-regulate and it's going to get itself back on track. It's just the way that it, that it is. Mm -hmm. And as human beings, we're animals. Like we yes. are animals, right? Mm -hmm. um, and when you give the human body what it needs in the form of high quality protein and vitamins and nutrients and trace minerals, what our cells are craving, all of a sudden the body starts to self-regulate itself. And yes. you're a perfect example of that. I mean, one day of one giving day. your body actually what it needed, right? Not mm -hmm. what you thought was healthy, but what it actually needed all of a sudden everything just kind of like balanced itself out. Right. Isn't that remarkable? Yes to think about very that. very <laughs> crazy right yes absolutely crazy so what have your results been so far so you started er shred in october october 25th is your date and since then we're now at the end of december what have your results been so far um i sleep very well like i said i don't have any cravings whatsoever i eat really really good <laughs> quality food so you're not starving you're not deprived you're no nothing. No, okay. no, no. If I need anything extra, I'd get my sardines, you know, boiled eggs, whatever. I'm not deprived of food. Um, what else? I work out a lot more. <laughs> I love yeah, talk out. to me about that. How's your, I mean, do you notice things about your intensity, your recovery? What's happened with your workouts? Um, it's, it's pretty good. I guess I'm running because I, I have a hard time running like a mile straight. Mm -hmm. But now I can, and I'm totally shocked. <laughs> so that's good. And yeah. as a matter of fact, tomorrow we're running a mile CrossFit. Um, so that, what else? Um, I can't think of anything else. Do you notice, like, has, has your strength gotten any? Have you gotten more strength? You said you did CrossFit? Yes, I do CrossFit. 
Have you noticed like your, yes. your lifts get heavier? Have you noticed more strength in that? My lips get heavier, but I don't overdo myself. I just don't. I just yeah. try to say no more than 55 pounds is enough for me. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Uh, How's your recovery? Do you notice anything with your recovery at all? I'm good. When I come out the gym, I feel like very, very uh, energized. Yeah. I feel good. Yeah. So no like lagging in recovery. No, no. like couple no. of days where it takes you to get back. Like you're just boom no. right back in it. And the hydrate helps as well. The hydrate. Yeah. Yeah. I the electrolytes that. for sure. I love it. I, t- I make sure. sure I take that with me. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And have you, did you track weight or inches or anything like that? Yes. Um, I lost a total of 12.8 pounds since October 25th, which I wasn't doing that with the other stuff that I was doing. Yeah. yeah. And inches, over 10 inches so far. Wow. And notice that my uh, workout pants, I have to pull them up when I'm at the gym. I have to constantly pull them up a little bit. Yeah. So yeah. it's getting there. I it's wonder, slow, I mean, it's a slow process, but it's getting there. Yeah, I mean, listen, that's a short period of time mm-hmm. for, for pretty remarkable yes. gains, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. For your yes. sleeping better. Um, you know what I love, Lizette, is every single testimonial that we hear from people, I always have to pry. I was like, did you lose weight? Did you lose any inches? Like the results of the non-scale victories that people share – whether it's brain fog, thinking better, yeah. better sleep, better digestion, more energy, better mood, um, you know, whatever it is, those are the things that people get so excited about. And it's always the weight in the inches are last. And I think that's an amazing testament to the power of what ER Shred really is. You know, this is yeah. not a stupid diet. This is not some gimmicky, you know, go low or whatever, whatever, yeah. take a tablet and, and, you know, we're going to create magic, right? Like we're just bringing people. I always say this is the ancestral way of eating combined mm-hmm. with the 21st century research and science. And we've kind of blended it together so beautifully that, you know, I, I love the fact that people like I have to pry those numbers out of people because everybody's so excited about all the other non-scale victories like that to me as a health coach. That's what health is all about. Mm-hmm. Like that's the true definition of health, right? Like when we yes, can feel yes. good and we can feel good in our clothes and we can feel confident in our own skin that's the definition of healthy, right? Yeah. It shouldn't be about how much weight or how much Mm -hmm. inches, but you know, it's nice to know, but I just love the fact that that's always the last thing that, that people talk about. If you you go into our group, by the way, www.ershutters.com and scrolling across the bottom of the page, um, it is free for you to join. Just answer the three questions, please, for crying out loud, answer Mm -hmm. the three questions questions um you'll get into the group just like that if you answer those three basic questions yes. um there's like 87 people who have not and they're just sitting there in the queue it's like just answer the questions, answer the questions. um but it's like when you go into the group you will see thousands of stories thousands of stories like and they're from in the 70s and 80s all the way down to children i mean because adults are taking radical responsibility, those of us that have children, that is impacting our children as well. Yeah. And I think, I mean, that's a legacy right there. Like for me, like that's mm-hmm. legacy. You know what I mean? And it's just yeah. so important to me that we can have that power. So it's just so awesome. So what do you think? I mean, what is your, what have you come to realize now about food? to realize um, like, like when I say that like like you used to think that eating healthy was vegetables and salads and you know what the magazines and the media and the the nutrition industry has told you to believe right mm-hmm. I mean what is your I mean I know you said that your definition now of food is you know protein and steak and and healthy fats and seafood and all of that like what have you come to realize about food I was misinformed. <laughs> misinformed by you know the the pyramid and also um now i'm in control Mm. of what i eat i'm totally in control but i was misinformed yeah you know would you say that 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 salad you know Mm. people talk a lot about empowerment in er shred would you say that that that's empowered you now to live life better i mean to have more control oh yes yeah 
this is this is my lifestyle forever now. Forever. I'm forever. I'm not stopping this. Wow. <laughs> I'm not stopping. I'm on maintenance and I'm going to do the shred again. That's and awesome. Again. I love it. I love yeah. this program. That's so yes. awesome. Yes, and I have these jeans that I wore that um fit me perfectly. And I do the non-scale victory with that. I tried it on today and I said, mm, getting there. We're getting yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Starting to fit because I used to have the muffin top over it. But yep. now it's it's better that um I was able to put it on and zip it up, no problem. It's getting yeah. there. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's gotta that's gotta be like an amazing thing for the mind, right? Like the self-confidence oh. and, and oh, yes. the self-love yeah. for yourself. Oh yeah. Another yeah. thing I forgot to mention is uh digestion. My digestion mm. is so much better the way I'm eating now. Cause like I said, I used to my stomach used to be in knots, and this was before eating junk food. I would eat the so-called healthy food, the salads, yeah. Yeah. and my stomach would be in knots. I mean, I could eat mm. spinach and oh, it hurts so bad. And okay. I used to pop Tums all the time. I always had Tums, popping Tums, yeah. three or four at a time. Yeah. I don't have to do that anymore. No more Tums. No, I don't do no that No more anymore. acid blockers. No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So It's crazy. Um, if people, if people really knew what that stuff was doing... <sighs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. And I also forgot about the TMI, but the BMs on a daily now. Yeah. Where before. And it wasn't like that before. No, it was not like that before. And I would have to take um, super colon cleanse for me to go. Interesting. So that's, it's TMI, but it's good for people to know. Yeah, I don't think that's TMI at all. That's called health. Um, yeah. Remember, I'm, I'm a health professional, so <laughs> I, I talk about poop a lot. Um, yeah. and, and a lot of people don't talk about poop, but people don't realize that your the way that your body, you know, discharges, right, food, um, you should be going to the bathroom every single day. Yeah. Um, some people go to the bathroom multiple times a day. And I know I've talked to people that they're like, oh, yeah, I poop. And I'm like, okay, well, how regularly? And they're like, oh, you know, like once, twice a week. And I'm like, what? Like once, twice a week. Yeah. Like sometimes I'm in there like two, three times a day, you know, mm -hmm. um, you know, mind you, I eat like 4,000 calories a day. So, I mean, I got a lot of food going inside me, but, um, you know, it's got to come out somewhere, right? Like there's got to be a byproduct of what we're doing. Like that's just the natural state of life of, of how it goes. Like mm -hmm. every animal poops, right? It's just the way that it is. Um, but that's fascinating. So you're, e you were eating all the fiber, you were mm -hmm. eating all the vegetables, you were yeah. doing all the things that, that the health professionals said to do and yet you couldn't go to the bathroom yeah. you would have to take a super colon cleanse and pop three to four tums a day even mm -hmm. though you were eating all the healthy food yeah. and now all of a sudden you flip things around to the er shred lifestyle and you no longer have any issues mm -hmm. nope no issues i am so happy <laughs> unbelievable i'm happy uh -huh. for you I'm, I'm very happy for you. I mean, just the fact that you've gotten the Tums out of your life, you've gotten the acid blockers, the colon cleanses, which are so not healthy for you. Um, so not healthy for you. I mean, they flush out your colon and in your colon lives all the amazing bacteria that your body needs. So it's like, think about like what we're actually doing when we do that. And I mean, that is a multi, multi million dollar industry. Oh, yeah. Right. I mean, there's a reason that they're 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 still on the shelves. Like if it mm -hmm. didn't sell, they wouldn't be on the shelves because yes. it's not a money maker. It's not going to take up mm -hmm. some retail space. Right. Um, so that's just mind blowing to me. Yes, yes. Um, that's there. What about like your thought process? Have you noticed like any 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 like the way that your memory, your 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 mental clarity, your fogginess at all? Did you suffer with any of that? I did. I'm much better with that. And I'm also more optimistic um, and also working on my goals. So I'm, I'm more alert with it. Yeah. So, yeah. You're more in tune with it, right? Yes. Yeah. And want to do it, <laughs> you yeah. know, want to work yeah. on my goals. Unbelievable. Is that yes. unbelievable? Whereas I mean, before I just wanted yeah. to pop on the couch, you know? Yeah. Cause I was tired and mental fog. So. Yeah. Everything now, I mean, do you, do you just find yourself go, go, go all day until it's time for bed? Oh, go, 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 go all day. Yeah. <laughs> I rarely watch TV. I'm not a TV person. Yeah. I rarely watch TV. 
Yeah. Yes. I mean, look at the amount of fishing poles you got back there. I hope not. I mean, you got, you, you got enough to catch the entire ocean back there. Uh, <laughs> oh, gosh. That's so awesome. I'm so uh, happy for you, Lizette. I mean, thank you. I, I know that there's so many people that can relate to your story. I know there's so many people out there that are suffering. Yes. Um, and I'm so excited that you and I got to talk before the holidays because this is really a tough time for people, you know? Mm -hmm. um, you know, inevitably people are gonna go to functions and we're gonna, you know, they're, they're gonna indulge in some stuff, right? They're gonna drink more yes. than they want to. They're gonna eat all this junk food, um, you know? And I get it. I mean, I get it. It's part of life and it, it's what we do, you know, for me, I'm not even tempted by it. You know, I'm like you, you know, if I do eat something, it's because I'm just doing it because I want to, you know what I mean? Yes. It's like, and, and, and it's funny because every time that I do, I'm like, you know what? Like, that's not even like, that doesn't even taste like food. You know, mm -hmm. I walk by these like counters at like Starbucks and stuff. And I look in that, you know, I look in that, that thing that they have um, with all the stuff yeah. and I'm like, that's not even food. Like that doesn't even <laughs> register in my um, mind as food anymore um, yeah. at this point in the game. And it's just, it's so empowering to have that control. And mm. I just hope and pray that everybody at some point in life can have that control. Um, and I know we can, if we just give the body what it needs, you know, yes. I know without Nutrition. a doubt that ER Shred is absolutely the solution. Now, I, I also know everybody's different. You know, my food can be your poison. And the beautiful thing with ER Shred is that we give you the freedom where we don't just go on this diet. We don't just go on this restriction program. Yes, we pull back. Yes, we eliminate. But the goal after that is to find your own blueprint, right? Like, do you think we do yes. a pretty good job of teaching people how to, how to navigate the food and, and, you know, learn what food is going to be your friend and what food is not going to be your friend? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. One food at a time. One so food at a time, it. right? Anything's going to hurt, bother you, you know, not agree with you. One food yeah. at a time. Yeah. Yeah. Lizette, what would you say to somebody that's sitting on the fence like you, you know, take yourself back to August. It took you from August to October. Um, I bet you wish you started sooner now, right? Yeah. I bet you <laughs> wish you dove in. Um, what would you say to somebody that's listened to this that, you know, might be in a position like you, like they, they got to a certain age. They don't think that they can give up junk food. They think that it has a grip on their life. Um, what, what would you share with that person? I would say, give it a try. Give it a try. I mean, yeah. do the 21 day shred. You don't even yeah. have to do the uh, nutritional cleansing because that's yeah. the way I started. Yeah. Without the nutritional cleansing, give it a try. I mean, so you didn't it, cleanse at first. I didn't cleanse at first. No. Okay. Um, and, um, it, it went with the isogenics products. You have a 30 day money back guarantee. If yeah. you're not satisfied, you literally have nothing go to lose. wrong. You're, you're eating nutritional food, you know? Yeah. So I would yeah. say, give it a try and see if it works for you. Mm. you know? Let me, let me ask you this. You, you tracked your food and you found out how much money you were spending on all this junk food. What would you say to somebody who goes, you know what? Eating healthy is so expensive. Eating healthy is so expensive. What, what would you say to that? Wow. I would say, imagine all the cereal that you buy, the cereal, the oatmeal, all the, the products in the supermarkets that have sugar in them. Yeah. Add all those up. You know, this pasta. I'm sure pasta has sugar, uh, sugar in it. Yeah. Bacon has sugar in it. So you have to read the ingredients. Make sure yeah. that it doesn't have sugar in it. Yeah. Um, imagine all that. You're, you're spending the money on, on that. So why not purchase the Isogenics program, you know, try it. And if, if you don't like it, you have 30 days to return it. Yeah. Would you say that you're spending more money now eating healthy than you did before? Or did it pretty much balance itself out? Um, I think... It probably balances itself out. Yeah. Uh, I look for sales, you know, yeah. what I'm doing. Yeah. So. Um, I think a lot of people get confused, you know, and it's like, I know that there's a big bunch of people that actually find that they're spending less money now because you actually have to eat less to be more fulfilled, right? Like you can, you can eat less and be really, really satisfied where before 
you know, if you eat a bag of potato chips that has zero nutritional value whatsoever, you could eat two bags. Like you said, you could eat two bags of potato chips without even blinking an eye. And how much is a bag of potato chips? Three, four dollars and fifty nine cents, right? Mm -hmm. and even yeah. if you buy one, get one free, it's like okay, that's five dollars, right? Mm -hmm. If you spend five dollars, you know our shakes are three, three dollars and a quarter, right? Yeah. So yeah. right there in itself, you're you're saving a dollar twenty five, mm -hmm. but you're mm -hmm. getting fifty times the nutritional value, right? Yeah. And, and it's, it could be, you know, you take 300 calories of a nutritional dense shake or 300 calories of a ribeye or 300 calories of salmon and shrimp. And you compare that to say 300 calories of potato chips, you know, you might get like a little buzz from the potato chips, yeah. but I mean, you're going to find yourself hungry again in like 40 minutes mm -hmm. and then exactly. you're going to eat more and then you're going to spike and then you're going to crash and then you're going to eat more and then you're going to spike and then you're going to crash and mm -hmm. then you're going to eat more. Like that's called addiction. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Sugar <laughs> sugar addiction, and right? insanity as well. Yeah. And insanity, right? <laughs> um, sugar. I always say sugar is the most powerful legal drug on the face of this planet. Yes, um, and that's what happens. Whereas do you find yourself in that same position when you drink a shake or you eat a ribeye or you have some salmon or you have some shrimp or you have some avocado? No, no. I mean, you eat and you're satisfied for hours, right? Totally satisfied. Yeah. Totally like satisfied. not even, not even wanting anything else. No. Absolutely. And, and I make bacon ahead of time. So if I need a snack, that's my, that's my junk food right there. My yeah. bacon, my sugar-free yeah. bacon. I yeah. mean, it's genius what you guys developed here. Oh, uh, <laughs> I love it's it. It's genius. I, I mean, love it so much. Bacon. I love bacon. <laughs> but back in the day, I didn't. I didn't know that bacon had sugar in it. Yeah, oh yeah. So I learned it from ER Shred. You know, make sure you get the one without sugar. And I said, yeah. bacon, sugar, and bacon. Everything. Everything. So I make Red, sure it's pasta, no pasta sugar. sauce. Everything. No nitrates. You yeah. know, and that's my snack. So I have mm -hmm. some in the fridge already cooked. And when I want a snack, I just grab it. That's my, yeah. that's my chocolate right there. That's my, yeah. that's my junk food. I mean, come on people. Like this is a lady who used to go to the movie theater and not even watch a movie. She would go there to buy the popcorn. She would buy these massive Russell Stover chocolate bars, <laughs> to eat the chocolate and not even two months into this. She's saying that bacon is now her chocolate. <laughs> yes. What? Uh huh. Like, what? Like, yes. I mean, come on. Come <laughs> on, people. Like, come on. Uh -huh. Oh, Lizette, I am so thankful for you. Um, oh. Is there anything that I didn't touch on? Is there anything else that you have on your heart or have on your mind that you'd like to share with somebody watching or maybe people who just started the shred, maybe they're struggling, maybe somebody who hasn't even jumped in yet. Like, I don't know. I just, just to give it a try, just to try it. I mean, yeah. I did. And I mean, it's working for me. Yeah. It's working for me. And this is my lifestyle now. Yeah. 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 My lifestyle. I mean, it sounds like your entire life has completely changed. Oh, it's changed. It's yeah. changed. Yeah. It's changed. <laughs> I mean, you, you look so happy. You look so full of life. I mean, it's 930 at night. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, you know, and you're still, you're still ticking. You're still going. You're still, yeah. you're still full of life. Yeah. So, oh, Lizette, I'm so thankful for you. I, oh. You know, I'm, I'm so happy that this has come into your life. I'm so thankful that that person in the Isobody Challenge group, you know, mentioned to you to check out ER Shred. Yes. I'm thankful that you did the deep dive, uh, even though I wish you started sooner. Uh, I'm, I'm grateful that you eventually did. Uh -huh. yes. uh, and I'm grateful that you're here. Uh, and, and I'm just, I, I'm so grateful that that you were willing to do this. Um, you know, for somebody- who Thank didn't you have for having me. Out, yeah, you're my pleasure. Are you kidding? Uh, for somebody who didn't have a lot to say, we sure did share a lot of valuable information <laughs> yes. with people. Uh, and, I, and I hope people can relate. You know, I mean, everybody, everybody deserves to feel healthy. Everybody yes. deserves to have the success that you're having. Everybody deserves mm -hmm. to, to, to just live a vibrant life. And we can do that. And it doesn't have to be gimmicky. 
It doesn't have to be salesy. It doesn't have to be some crazy counting scheme. It doesn't have to be popping tablets. Like we're talking about real legit food. And Lizette says, you know, she loves the shakes, but it is such a small piece of what we do. I mean, that's just yeah. the, the foundation. I mean, the rest of it is just this macronutrient dense food, um, mm -hmm. delicious, amazing, high quality food. And we eat like Kings and Queens is what we say here in yeah. the land, right? Like I mean, <laughs> yeah. you're not deprived, you're not starved, you know, bacon is your chocolate now. And, and I mean, come on, like that's just <laughs> so amazing. So oh, amazing. I love it. Oh, Lizette, I'm so thankful for you. I'm thankful um, for you. Listen, friend, I hope you have the most amazing holiday season. I hope you have a blessed and prosperous new year. Yes. Um, I, can, I can't wait to keep celebrating you. I can't yes. wait. You show up in our group like no other. I'm so thankful oh, for that. I know there's you. so many other people that are thankful for that. Um, guys, do me a favor. Hit the comment thing. Drop into the comments. Let Lizette know how thankful you are for her. Let her know what you related to. Let, let us know your secrets. Let us know what this has done for you. Um, anybody who's watching this that has done the ER Shred that can relate to her pack story, let us know. Share with other people. And don't be scared to invite people. Everybody is welcome in the ER Shred community. Everybody is welcome. www.ershredders.com. Answer the three questions, come into our group, be a fly on the wall. You don't have to say a damn word. Um, we have so much valuable information. We pour our heart, sweat, and tears into this thing and put so much valuable information in there for people. We're there to support you. Um, we didn't even talk about the community. Really quick yeah. touch on that before I let you go. What do you, what do you think about the ER Shred community? How, how awesome is that? I love the community. I absolutely love the community, you yeah. know. Um, Do you think it's a big help for people to have that? Oh, yes. Yeah. We need it. <laughs> we yeah. need that support. Everybody needs support, right? Everybody needs the support. Yeah. You know, we, we feed off of each other as well. Yeah. I mm. love I love the community mm -hmm. and I'm mm -hmm. grateful for everyone. Oh. Well, we're definitely grateful for you, Lizette. And we're grateful for all of you for spending your time with us. You know, we can't thank you enough. Listen, this is the last call before the before the holiday. Um, you know, I, I wish everybody a very happy holiday season. Um, I, I wish you all the best. Um, do yourself a favor. Give yourself the best gift that you could possibly ever give yourself. Give yourself the gift of health. Tomorrow night, we have our last uh, what we call shred your testimonial call every Wednesday night. Uh, we do that call. That's where I met Lizette. She came on there and she shared her a brief little piece of what she did. Uh, and I just needed to know more. And tomorrow we have a really special call where we're doing an ugly sweater Christmas, par Christmas party, you know, on zoom. Um, so everybody's welcome to that. I know Sean and I are going to break out our favorite holiday sweaters that him and I have had for years now. He actually bought mine and sent it to me. I, I, I think it was like three or four years ago ago and every single year i break it out of my tub and i put it back on so i can't wait for that call tomorrow I, I i invite everybody to get on that call and please if you're not in our group it is free get your ass in there um just check it out check it out see if it could possibly be for you and like lizette said do yourself that favor give yourself that gift it's an unconditional money back guarantee you have literally nothing to lose yeah. Don't wait for the new year. Don't set these fake, whack-ass New Year's resolutions that we know never come true. Mm -hmm. They just don't <laughs> come true. Statistically, they don't come true. Yeah. Um, just give yourself that gift. That's all we ask is just take a look. So, Lizette, thank you again so much. I hope you thank have you. an amazing night. Thank you. Thank all of you, and we'll <laughs> see you after the holiday season. Take thank care. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>